world peace. Everybody wants world peace. Nobody believes that there can be world peace. It's a nice idea, but that's all it is. Just a sweet, it's like a s sweet little, little old lady idea. It's meaningless. It's never going to happen. And we think it's got to be this way. And so there is a science called Vedic science, and there's technologies connected with it. Science of consciousness, science of the unified field. Technologies from that can easily bring peace. And peace isn't just the absence of war. Peace is the absence of negativity. Peace is real, and it comes from the unified field. And the unified field can be enlivened in an individual and bring enlightenment. It can be enlivened in the world through a peace greeting group and bring peace. Dr. John Haglin is, uh, you know, could talk for the next... 10 weeks of this most profound science that just now quantum physics is, is reaching, approaching Vedic science. There are 300,000 manuscripts and books on peace. Each of these books and manuscripts have been read by an average three people, including the author and the publisher. <laughs> Who wants to read another book, you know, about peace we want to create peace. There's an actual science of peace because the field of consciousness is the field of unity, field of bliss, field of peace. On a tangible, palpable, powerful, physical level, millions of times more powerful than the nuclear force if we can just access it. But consciousness can access it. What we need are more peacemakers who develop their nervous systems to the point where they become lighthouses of peace, radiating peace. When an individual mind contacts being at the source of thought, when individual awareness expands, boom, to become universal, it creates a ripple in that universal field, just like it were a ripple in the electromagnetic field. And that ripple propagates in all directions at the speed of light. Just like the electromagnetic field, if you have a broadcasting antenna and you shake the electrons up and down in a broadcasting antenna, that creates a local disturbance in the electromagnetic field, and that disturbance propagates out in all directions at the speed of light. If we have a transistor radio over here with an antenna, that'll cause the electrons in our antenna to shake up and down, and the shaking up and down of the electrons in our antenna is decoded by the transistor radio as music. So information gets communicated through ripples propagating through the electromagnetic field. In the same way, we stimulate the more fundamental field of unity, fundamental field of consciousness. It creates a ripple that can be felt. The research shows that to have a really powerful effect, you need these ripplers rippling in close proximity to each other. And that creates not a ripple, but a tidal wave of unity, tidal wave of peace, tidal wave of coherence. This coherence, unity, peace, gets communicated through the field of consciousness. That's why it's really important to understand that consciousness is fundamentally a field that we share, that underlies and pervades us all. And amazingly, because the strength of numbers is such, it doesn't take that many people, about this many people, to influence the whole Midwest. And that's because, you know, if you have two loudspeakers, like in a boombox, close together, and they're playing monaural sound. That means they're playing in sync. The volume of sound generated by two loudspeakers is four times the sound of one loudspeaker. Three loudspeakers produces nine times the sound of one loudspeaker if the speakers are close together. That's because those waves add coherently, producing a wave that's three times as high, but a wave that's three times as high has nine times the power. The power grows as the square of the height of the wave. That's why the research shows that the radiated influence of peace in the environment grows roughly as the square of the number of people doing it together. The n squared effect amplifies the power to be enough to produce a demonstrable, repeatable, publishable effect on crime rates, even terrorism, even stopping warfare in war-torn areas like the Middle East. It's a technology. It's a science and technology for peace. Negativity goes away like darkness goes away when the sun comes up. 
The sun doesn't even have to try to drive the darkness away. The sun doesn't even care about the darkness. The sun comes up and it goes. The unified field gets enlivened, negativity goes. It just goes. This peace isn't a stupid thing. It's not a, like a doily, like I say. It's not a doily. <laughs> For, it's powerful.